What's up YouTube? It's Josh Reese, a first year student at Midwestern University in Arizona, and today I'm going to be ranking every single optometry school in North America. So let's go. All right, first disclaimer is that I'm gonna be looking at my notes a lot, so sorry if I'm going to be not making eye contact with the video. And disclaimer number two is that this video is probably going to be pretty long. I'm gonna spend a minute or more on each optometry school and there's about 20 or so, so be prepared for a pretty long video. If I ever figure out how to put timestamps into the description, I'll go ahead and put those in. But until then, feel free to skip around, but know that every school is going to have something great about it. So let's get into ranking them. So first one is Alabama. The University of Alabama has its own optometry school. So let's go ahead. Most of this information is going to be tiny bit outdated, so either 2020 or 2019, but the OAT average for the University of Alabama is 321. The average GPA is 366. The tuition, you got some in-state and out-of-state, so in-state tuition is going to be 9,000 a semester, and out-of-state is going to be 18,000 a semester. The class size is about 45 students, so pretty good, pretty small, pretty medium. And we got some board pass scores that we're gonna talk about too. So we got a 76% on part one, 94% on part two, and 74% on part three. So some pretty average pass rates we got there. So we'll go ahead and be ranking location there as well. So as far as we got here, so Boards pass scores, I'm gonna give it about a six out of 10. If you're in the top of the class, no problem, you'll pass. Tuscaloosa, Alabama, it's not my favorite place in the world. It is going to be nice and warm and it is going to have great summers, but, or humid summers, however you wanna look at that, but it's not necessarily my cup of tea. So I'm going to go ahead and give the location for me a five out of 10. I really um, would preferably be not in a major college town and be a little bit more um, in a familiar type city than Tuscaloosa. If you're a football fan though, that's a big plus. 10 out of 10, the University of Alabama is there. You're going to win every national championship from here on out. I don't care what year you're watching this video in. They're great. For Alabama, I'm going to rate the price about an eight out of 10. It's a pretty good price to go there, especially if you're in state, that is great. This is one of the schools I know least about but I'm going to go ahead and give it, from what I know out of it, I'm gonna give it a six out of 10. So Alabama, you get a six out of 10. But with that, just know that every optometry school is going to get you to become an optometrist. So don't let a bad score, even if a score, even if a school receives a one out of 10 from me, that's my preferences. I'm sure every single person that went there and became an optometrist is grateful for that school and every school you go to will make you become an optometrist. So every school's good, every school will pass boards most likely, all of them, most people pass, and you're gonna be a great optometrist no matter what school you go to. There's just a few preferences that I'll rank them at. Okay, the next school is Arizona College of Optometry at Midwestern University here in Phoenix, Arizona. For those of you who don't know, I think I announced it actually, but this is the one I go to, so obviously it's gonna receive kind of a high score for me. So the average OAT is 319. This is as of 2019. Average GPA is 341. The tuition per year, this is in-state and out-of-state, is $43,000. The class size is about 57. And board scores, we got part one is 92%, part two is 100%, and part three is 84%. So pretty good um, Nebo pass rates. And uh, it's in Phoenix, Arizona. So we're Glendale, Arizona, so north of Phoenix, kind of suburbia um, past Phoenix. Other things I know about it, it's clinic is really well established. It has a brand new therapy building. I'm really interested in vision therapy. So there's a lot of cool tools in that. And it's the closest to my family. So I'm gonna go ahead and give a location nine out of 10. Price, two out of 10. It's one of the most priciest schools out there. And uh, education, 10 out of 10. So overall, this school is gonna get from me an eight out of 10 for ASCOPT.
there's not going to be any perfect scores out there, I don't think. Every school is going to have some drawbacks to going there, but every school is going to have some major um, pros to go there too. Next one we're going to tackle is SCCO. So not SCO, but SCCO, Southern California College of Optometry. So let's go ahead. Average OAT, pretty high, 334. Average GPA, 332 or 3.32. The tuition is $45,000 a year. Uh, class size is 104. And board scores, part one is 91, part two, 96, and part three, 89%. So some pretty good academics there. Location doesn't quite get better or worse than this, depending on if you like California. Uh, but it's right there in Anaheim, Disneyland, Beach, California, right there. So I'm going to give the location 8 out of 10. I'm going to give the price... 2 out of 10, it's pretty expensive. It's up there with Midwestern and those kind of schools. It's pretty expensive. Uh, expensive schools, though, you got to know that that tuition's going towards some, some cool stuff. So you're probably going to have some cool experiences, but tuition's high. And other things I know about, it's very well established. One of the oldest schools in the nation. So SCCO is going to get, for me, 7 out of 10. All right, Berkeley is up next. So Berkeley, also in California, uh, one of the most prestigious undergrads in the West Coast, UC Berkeley, has an optometry school right there. So average OAT, this one's pretty high, 355. Average GPA, 3.42. Tuition, we got an in-state and out-of-state. In-state, per semester is 20,000 and 25,000, or 26,000 almost for out-of-state. So pretty costly too. All right, and we have a class size, about 68, nice and even. And pass rates, we have 85 on part one, 97 on part two, and 94 on part three. So Berkeley, it's right by, there by San Francisco. Beautiful, beautiful area, depending on if you like California. Pricey though, it's, so location to me is gonna get nine out of 10, I really like, I'm from Washington State, so I really like that kind of climate beautiful area to be in uh it's a little expensive that's the only drawback for not not a 10 out of 10 for location price it's gonna be two out of ten again some of these schools are very pricey there's other cost effective if you're if you're looking only for price out there and honestly overall berkeley's got a great program out there and everyone i know loves it out there uh in my mind it's one of those those top tier schools kind of like that i don't know that know they're good they kind of receive a docked point, but some people really like that. Some people don't like that. I kind of, um, I don't think I'd fit in with that kind of, uh, with that kind of environment. So overall, Berkeley is going to get from me a seven out of 10. All right. Next one is the Western University of Health Sciences. This one's also in Southern California. And we got average OAT of 300, average GPA of 3.17. Tuition, $40,000 a year, class size 86 people, and pass rate. So part one, we got a 52% pass rate. Part two, we have 74% pass rate. And part three, we have a 58% pass rate. So this one, uh, you can tell academically, it's a little struggling, but these smaller schools out there um, with not well-established have some lower pass rates, but don't let those scare you because you can always take them again. And half the class is passing, so if you're in the top half, there's nothing really to worry about. So for me, I'd say location, 9 out of 10 again. Gotta love California. Nice, West Coast, sunny, beautiful. Um, academics, it's a little bit gonna take a ding for me. It's gonna be at 4 out of 10. Um, for me, I'd like somewhere where I can trust the professors to give me that quality education. Price is also going to be like 3 out of 10. So this is gonna get a pretty low score for me. Besides location, it's not the school for me. So I'm gonna say it's about a five out of 10 for Western University of Health Sciences. Okay, next one up is Nova. A lot of people love Nova out there in Florida. It's one of the good schools out there on the East Coast. So we got average OAT is a 323. Average GPA is a 3.43. Uh, tuition, we got in-state, out-of-state. In-state per year is 31000 and out-of-state is 36000 uh, Class size is about 94 people. And pass rate, we got 
Part one is 78%, part two, 96%, and part three, 78%. So this is a great school out there. Pretty high boards, pass rates, um, bigger class size, but the tuition's pretty good out there. So uh, location, if you love Florida, if you love sunny, it's good. I honestly, particularly the only drawback for Florida for me is the humidity and hurricanes. So I don't know, if you're from the south and if you're from the east, you probably deal with hurricanes all the time, not a big deal. Me, a little scared of them. But um, so that's going to be location, I'll give it an eight out of 10. Uh, price, I'd give it a five, five, six out of 10. It's a really good price. And education is, it's high up there. So Nova's gonna get from me a seven out of 10 overall. So Nova's a pretty good school out there. Okay, the next one is Chicago College of Optometry. So just got accredited, uh, it's very good. Uh, let's go ahead, OAT is a 296. GPA is a 3.21. Tuition, $42,000 a year. Class size is about 60, and pass rates, we don't have the information for that yet. So, honestly, it's pretty good. Uh, those new schools, you're taking a curveball with it because you're not quite sure if, you know, it's, it's new enough. You're like, I don't know. That's why the, the GPA and OAT entries are kind of low. It's because people are taking a gamble with it, but usually the new schools are pretty good gamble. I know all the people who went to Midwestern first uh, all love the gamble. It turned out to be a great school. Some of the newer schools are gonna be some great gambles to pull, but it is not quite established yet. So if you're someone who doesn't have faith in a school, then you could probably go somewhere else, but honestly, all of these schools are gonna give you great educations, so new school doesn't quite bother me as much as other people. So really, academics, I don't have too much to judge it on, but location, Chicago, not my style. Honestly, Midwest is probably my least favorite place to live in the entire country. So it's gonna get two out of 10 for location for me. Uh, big city, Chicago, it'll probably be a fun experience, but not my style. Uh, and education, not enough information, but tuition, it's pretty high up there. It's not gonna get quite a two out of 10, but three, three out of 10 for tuition, kind of expensive. So overall, Chicago College of Optometry, you're gonna get a four out of 10 for me, um, but I'm sure you'll end up being great. All right, so we got the Illinois College of Optometry. So this one is also in Chicago area. So you got average OAT of a 326, average GPA of a 3.42, tuition cost at $44,000 a year, uh, class size is 124, and pass rates, we got part one is 86%, part two is 94%, and part three is 89%. So pretty solid. Uh, I'm gonna give location, again, about a three out of 10, two out of 10, Midwest. Um, Chicago's great though. Um, uh, academics, probably gonna be like an eight out of 10. It's pretty good academic school. Uh, all those pass rates, you got it. And price, again, pretty expensive, about a three out of 10. So overall, I'm gonna give the Illinois College of Optometry a five out of 10. So it's, it's gonna be a good school, but my location and a little pricey. Next, we have the Indiana University School of Optometry. So this one, a lot of people love it. It's one of the biggest schools out there. And I know a lot of people have gotten quality, quality educations here. So let's go ahead and break it down. Average OAT is three point, or 317. Average GPA is 3.58. Tuition, we got in-state and out-of-state. So in-state is $31,000 a year. Out-of-state is $43,000 a year. Class size is about 85. And pass rates, we got 78% on part one, 91% on part two, and 85% on part three. So this is pretty good. Uh, solid school, solid program. A lot of people love it. Big clinic, very established. Uh, good representation throughout the country. So honestly, this is one of those schools like Alabama where if you love the undergrad experience, want a college football team, um, all those those things are gonna have a great campus. That's a huge plus. I'm not super into that, but I do like the um, medical campus feeling of like a Midwestern university. You'll get that in Chicago and in Arizona. So with this one, it's gonna give for me price if you're in state, very good, very good. So six out of 10. Um, location, honestly, Midwest, sorry, three out of 10. Um, and 
academics is gonna get pretty high for me. That's gonna be like a seven out of 10 for academics. So overall, the Indiana University School of Optometry is gonna get about a six out of 10. I'll give it a six out of 10, five, six. So it's a pretty good school out there in Indiana. All right, Kentucky, they, this is a newer school out there as well. So it's the University of Pikeville or the Kentucky College of Optometry. We got an OAT of 296 and a GPA of 3.31, and those will probably be going up as it has more years. So we got tuition of $42,000 a year, pretty expensive. Actually, all of it's pretty expensive, not gonna lie. Uh, and then we got some pass scores already. We got Nebo, part one is 53%, part two is 72%, and part three, there was no data at the ones that I looked at. Although my data is a little outdated. So. Uh, honestly, this college, it looks great. It's one of the new ones, one of the gambles that you're gonna have to take. But overall for me, we got, it's a little bit more east than Midwest, but still gonna be about a three out of 10 for me in location. Don't have a lot for me going on in Kentucky. If you do, great. Um, academics for me, it honestly seems pretty okay for a new school, but it still is new. Academics is gonna give it about a five out of 10. And price, it's pretty high price, but not the highest, but still pretty high. It's gonna get about a three out of 10 for me. So overall, Kentucky College of Optometry, you'll get a four out of 10. But honestly, I've heard only good things about it. And I've heard people who have toured it absolutely loved it. All right, so we got the one in Massachusetts over in Boston, MCPHS. Yeah, I've heard great things about this one too. So your average OAT is 307, average GPA is 3.22. Tuition is about $43,000 a year, and pass rates, we got 66% for part one, 86% for part two, and 68% for part three. So let's just go into it. Boston, beautiful, awesome. If I was gonna live on the East Coast, Boston is probably where it's at. So location is gonna be an eight out of 10 for me, um, maybe a seven out of 10. I can't see myself living there, but I think the idea of it is great. Um, Academics seem pretty solid, a uh, tiny bit tick behind where I'd want them to be, maybe six out of 10. And tuition, just a pretty expensive, not the most expensive, but pretty expensive, so that's gonna be a three out of 10 for me as well. So um, Boston, I'm sorry, you're gonna get slightly lower score than I'd like uh, coming out of my mouth, but you're gonna be about a five out of 10. Great school, I know so many people that love it though. And that's gonna be true for most schools, you're probably not gonna regret going there. They're, all of them are gonna be pretty good. All right, so second one in Boston, we got our New England School of Optometry. So honestly, eight out of 10, Boston. Uh, but let's do OAT. We got a 326 GPA, you got a 3.37. Uh, tuition is about the same, so $42,000 a year. Uh, class size is about 136. And pass scores, we got part one, 87%, part two, 94, part three, 90. So academics are pretty good at this one. Uh, it's in Boston, uh, the tuition's about the same as the other one, so three out of 10 for tuition, eight out of 10 for uh, location, and education, that's pretty good. I'm gonna have to give it an eight out of 10 for education too. So besides the price, this one's, uh, honestly, it's got a lot of uh, good stuff to say about it, and I know a lot of people who love it out there, so go ahead, six out of 10, New England College of Optometry. I headed over to Big Rapids, Michigan. We got the Michigan College of Optometry at Ferris State University. So this one I have not heard too much about actually. So go ahead and tell me in the comments if you like this university. But average OET is a 3.39, very strong. Average GPA is a 3.75, super strong. That's bigger than my GPA. Tuition, very nice. You got a $34,000 a year. And class size, 38, nice and small, nice and good education. And pass scores, we got a 91 on part one, 100 on part two, and 94 on part three. So honestly, this is a, it's a good college out there. I haven't heard much about it, but it, it, the numbers speak for themselves over here. So we got, for my location, Michigan, besides Ohio, I can't think of a worse place to live. So sorry, you're gonna get a two out of 10 for me on location. Education seems like a 10 out of 10, and tuition seems like eight out of 10. So Michigan, it's gonna be a, about a seven out of 10 for me. Uh, you got a pretty good college over there. So 
Um, besides the numbers, I don't know much, but go ahead and reach out and convince me. Okay, we got the University of Missouri over in St. Louis. And this one, we got an average OAT of 314, an average GPA of 3.42. Tuition, we got in-state and out-of-state, in-state and out-of-state. So we got 12,000 for in-state, 20,000 for out-of-state. This is per year. And so that is one of the best prices you're gonna get. Uh, class size, we got 43 or 45. And part one, we got an 87%, part two, 93%, part three, 100%. So academics are pretty good over here as well. So price, 10 out of 10, you did it. It's one of the cheapest out there. So perfect, perfect score for me on price, that's good. Uh, class size, it's great as well. Uh, education, it's one of the best ones out there for, for all three. Um, we'll go ahead and give you an eight out of 10 for that one. But location, I'm sorry, Missouri. Too many schools over in the Midwest. I'm not gonna take, I don't like the Midwest that much. Maybe that's just, you should convince me otherwise as well. But overall, or Midwest, you're gonna get a two out of 10, maybe a three out of 10. We got overall, we're gonna give this school about a six out of 10. So good job over, good job University of Missouri. Next one is gonna be, we're going over to Canada. So we got Montreal. I don't have too much information about it. So if someone uh, from the University of Montreal, uh, College of Optometry over there, um, can put down in the comments more information about it. I don't have any information on OAT or GPA, but I do have um, some tuition. So I think this is in Canadian dollars. This is in split into trimesters. So in province is going to be um, 1,800 per trimester out is going to be 4,600 per trimester and out of country if you're not from Canada it's going to be about $12,000 so uh, pricier if you're from the US but if you're from Montreal uh, I don't know I don't have anything bad to say about the price 10 out of 10 from Canada 5 out of 10 for US uh, class size about 46 and then Nebo pass rates, uh, that's going to be more for the US, so we don't have anything for that. But for OEBC, you're gonna have a pass rate of 97%. So that's really good pass rates uh, for Canada. So honestly, I think it'd be fun to live in Canada if it weren't so cold, uh, kind of the Midwest vibes. But uh, location is gonna be four out of 10. I would love to live in Canada. So just for the experience of it, I'll bump it up to a four out of 10. Uh, price, uh, again, for, US, it's probably five out of 10. For Canada, it's like a 10 out of 10. And education, it seems like you're gonna get a pretty good education over there. So I'm gonna say eight out of 10. So overall, you're gonna get a six, seven. Let's give you a seven out of 10, University of Montreal. We got SUNY over New York. So the uh, State University of New York, SUNY. Uh, it's got an optometry school over there. Love, if people, if you love big cities, this is usually the one you're looking at. So great education over there, very established. So OAT is going to be a 346. GPA is a 3.59. Tuition, this is where it gets pretty expensive. Out of state, you're going to be paying 51000 which I believe is the most expensive. And then in state, you're going to be paying 30000 so a little bit more. Um, class size, you have about 98 people per class. Pass rates, we got 86 for part one, 96 for part two, and 82 for part three. So academics is solid. Let's go ahead and rate academics. That's going to be about seven out of 10. Um, location for me, I think New York would be great if I were to live on the East Coast. It's just a little bit lower than I'd like to live. Boston's my top, but New York could be a second. So I'm going to give you a seven out of 10 for location. And price, one out of 10. For, for price, it's very expensive to live in New York, but I guess we already know that. In-state, it's probably going to be about a three. But overall, uh, SUNY, you're gonna get a six out of 10 for me. So very good. I know a lot of people who love SUNY. All right, the Ohio State University is next. A lot of people love this. It's a great school, great college, all around for everything. Uh, 339 for OAT, 3.65 for GPA. Tuition, this is where it gets great. 26,000, it's one of the best tuitions out there. Class size, 68. And then Nebo, we got some big scores coming in, 91% for part one, 97% for part two, and 91% for part three. So Ohio State, 
It's really good. I know it's known for some of the quality of education for like vision therapy and even some of those niche um, things. So Ohio State's got nothing bad to say for me except for Midwest. So two out of 10 for location. Education, nine out of 10. And price, nine out of 10. So everything else besides location, Ohio State's doing great. I'll give you a six out of 10. Good job, Ohio State. All right, next one, we're going over to Oklahoma. So kind of west, kind of midwest, right there in, I'm gonna say it, the armpit of the United States. Um, it's, this is known for the um, smallest class size, so you're gonna get the most intimate education here, but GPA is going to be a 3.17, OAT is a 372. In-state's gonna be some great, um, great cost, it's gonna be 27,000. And out of state's going to be 43,000. So pretty expensive out of state as well. Um, 28 is the class size. And Nebo, part one, we got 67%, part two, 85%, and part three, 92%. So honestly, this seems like a great school. I know it's really nice because you have um, a Native American reservation right over there. So uh, you get to serve a lot of communities. Uh, but honestly, the only bad thing I'd say is Oklahoma. So uh, education, I'd say about a 6 out of 10. Location, I'd say about 3 of 10. It's pretty close to the West, but it's Oklahoma still. Price, I'd say in-state, it's going to be about 9, 10. But out of state for me, it'll probably be a 2, 3 out of 10. So, so overall, it's going to be a 5 out of 10 for Oklahoma. Good job, Oklahoma. All right, next one, we got Pacific University in uh, Forest Grove, Oregon. So kind of there by Portland, it is pretty good. We got 327 for the OAT, a 3.51 for the GPA. Tuition is about $42,000 a year. Uh, class size is 94 and pass rates, we got part 190, part 297 and part 380. So good pass scores, good pass rates all around for, for uh, Pacific. So, Honestly, location, 10 out of 10. I'm from Washington State. It, it could almost live at home and go here. So 10 out of 10 for location. Pacific University, it's honestly, you're going to be in the most beautiful parts of the country right over there, in my opinion. Um, education, it's going to be pretty solid, about a 9 out of 10. Uh, or 8 out of 10, I guess. Part 3 is 80%. But you're going to get a really good quality education. I know the vision therapy and different programs that I'm really interested in are really established over there. Um, but price, you're gonna get a three out of 10. It's pretty expensive over there. But overall, Pacific University, eight out of 10. Okay, next one is Salus University or Salus, however you say it. Uh, I know a lot of people like this. So OAT is 305, GPA is 3.36. Tuition, we got $42,000 a year, pretty average, pretty high. Class size is 149, and pass rates, we got part one, 81%, part two, 91%, and part three, 83%. So very, very solid school over here at Salus. Honestly, I don't have too many uh, thing, bad things to say about it. We'll go ahead and give the location five out of 10. Um, education, very high up there. It's gonna be about a six, seven out of 10. Uh, I see some good education over there. And tuition, it's gonna be about three out of 10. So, Salus, I'll give you overall five out of 10. You're pretty good over there. The Inter-American University of Puerto Rico School of Autometry. So we got some low entrance, but I've heard some good things. OAT is a 284, GPA is a 3.04. Tuition, pretty good, $27,000 a year. Class size is 60. And pass, gate, um, pass rates, so this is very heavily affected by the hurricane that went through. So I think it delayed some of the scores, but we have a 30% for part one, 45% for part two, and a 47% for part three. So education, it's gonna be ranked pretty low, about a four out of 10 over there. Um, personal, uh, personal uh, from word of mouth, I've only heard great things, but on paper, it does seem a little low. Uh, tuition, you're going to get a 6 out of 10. It's pretty low, pretty cheap tuition out there. And location, believe it or not, I'm going to give it a 10 out of 10. Who doesn't want to live in Puerto Rico? Some people. But I would love it. it to be immersed in a Hispanic culture, right on, like there in the beach, right? 
I don't know, 10 out of 10, love to go to Puerto Rico. But overall, because of the education uh, and some of those concerns over there, Puerto Rico, you're gonna get from me, six out of 10. Next, we go over to Memphis at SCO, Southern College of Optometry. Now this one, one of the most established ones in the country, he's got the biggest clinic in the country. I actually, some of the best optometrists I know went to SEO. It brings a lot of good reputation from it. So good job, SEO. Let's go ahead. Average OAT is a 336. Average GPA is a 3.61. Tuition, we got some in-state, out-of-state. So in-state, $19,000 a year. Woo! Super cheap. Um, out-of-state is going to be $38,000 a year, so not as cheap. Um, class size is about 135. And part one is a 91%, part two is a 96%, and part three is an 89%. So academics, you're gonna get really, really good quality of education over here. Um, yeah, with that clinical education, I've actually, I honestly, I'd give it like a nine out of 10 for, for education. You're gonna get a really good education out there. Of all the places in the South uh, to be, Memphis would honestly be one of my top places to live. So I'm gonna give the location about a six out of 10. Not super good, not super bad. And then the average tuition, honestly, if you could qualify, I know they give out a lot of scholarships, so you could be out of state and still qualify for in-state. I'm gonna give the price here about uh, six out of 10, it's pretty good. So overall, Southern College of Optometry is going to get from me um, seven out of 10. All right, we're going down to Texas, University of Houston College of Optometry. Uh, I've only heard great, great things about this as well. Uh, so let's go ahead. OAT average is th uh, 340. GPA is 3.59. Tuition, you got some in-state, out-of-state. So in-state, you have $36,000 a year. And out-of-state, you got $47,000 a year. Class size is about 103. And pass rates, we got part one is 73%, part two is 90%, and part three is 85%. So Houston... Honestly, it was one of my top schools when I went to look at it. Uh, I worked for an optometrist that went to Houston. Uh, great things, great things. Location for me, sorry, Houston's right there in the hurricane. It scares me, uh, yeah. But Texas, I think it would be pretty cool. It's still in the West. I'd give it a four out of 10 over there in Texas. Um, I know Houston is, it's in the medical part of Houston, so it's going to be really good quality education over there. Um, but yeah, so location, four out of 10. But education, I'd go on and give it a seven out of 10. It's really good for education as well. And tuition, it's gonna be about two out of 10 for out of state, but in state, you know, everything's gonna be better. So about five out of 10 for in state. So overall, I'm gonna give Houston about uh, five, maybe six out of 10. So good job, Houston. I'm a hard man to impress, as you know. Uh, next, we're going over to San Antonio to the uh, University of the Incarnate Word. College of Optometry over there. It's, uh, I've heard only great things about this one too. So the average GPA is 3.34, average OAT is 308, tuition is about $43,000 a year, class size is 68, and part one is 80%, part two is 95%, and part three is 89%. So it's going to be a good school out there. San Antonio I'd like a little bit better than Houston, so I'm gonna give the location six out of 10. Good job, San Antonio. Um, Tuition, yeah, it's pretty expensive, about three out of 10. And, but education, I think I've only heard good things, so six out of 10 for education. So overall, I think that I'm gonna give the Incarnate Word about a five out of 10. Good job, Incarnate Word. All right, we're going up to Canada again, back to Waterloo. So the University of Waterloo over there, we got OAT average of 381. Really high, a lot of people love all Waterloo. So, so you got only, some of the best people out there. I don't have too much data on the GPA. Uh, tuition though, if you're domestic, it's about $18,000 a year, so really good for that. International, $50,000 a year. So one of the more expensive ones if you're international. So, but for Canada, price, you're gonna get 10 out of 10. And for US price, you're gonna be about one out of 10. Yeah, <laughs> big swing on that one, but only have heard good things about Waterloo. Class size is about 90 people, and pass rates, uh, we don't have any data for Nebo, but for OEBC for Canada, we got a written score of 87, and an 
OSCE score of 93. So really good education there. So in Waterloo, Ontario, you're going to get a pretty good. It would be fun to live in Canada, but it's really cold. So location about 4 out of 10. And education seems like you're going to get a great education out there. I'd say 9 out of 10. So overall, I'm going to give you a 5 out of 10 Waterloo. And that concludes the video. Thank you for watching all the way through if you got this far. Uh, honestly, it was super fun to make this video. Go ahead and comment down below what your favorite part about your alma mater is if you're an optometrist or the top schools you're interested in. Um, I know my top schools personally were Pacific University, SCO in Memphis, Houston, and Arizona College of Optometry. Mostly location, some tuition, uh, but mostly location played a role for me. So. Uh, my top tips, I have a video for picking optometry schools, which one you like the best. But I'd say um, my biggest tip is just see where you can see yourself going to school. That it factor is going to be the most important determinant to if you can see yourself there, and if you can see yourself becoming an optometrist at that institution. So go ahead and smash the like button and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.